My family, when Harry's late mother passed away, after being chased by Parazi, the world said, this must never, ever happen again. Never, ever again. People were crying as they mourned the Ledana. They said that we are going to look after her children. Diana's children. And this, the chasing of members of the royal family by Parazi must never ever happen again. Or of anyone, it must never ever happen. And then my family, just a few days ago, Prince Harry, Meghan and Doria Ragland were harassed experienced a car chase after a ring of highly aggressive paparazzi pursued Harry, Meghan and Doria Raglan to be able to catch a glimpse of Harry and Meghan. They wanted to get those photos because my family, those photos were in high demand. Where? From the Daily Mail. And now my family. We are seeing UK media. Doing everything in their power. At the forefront. To try and claim. Harry and Meghan. Were not telling the truth. About the car chase. Why is that? Because. They want to continue their grift. Their hate. For profit campaign against Harry and Meghan. They want to be able to write articles, as many articles as possible about Meghan. Even when Meghan is not visible, they want to keep that up. The harassment, the hounding, the hate campaign. My family. And that's why they are doing everything in their power. My family to try and say that Harry and Meghan are lying. When Harry and Meghan are telling the truth about what happened to them. The traumatic ordeal that brings back memories of what happened to Harry's late mother. And my family, I want you to see a clip of what CNN's John Miller, my family, who is CNN's chief law enforcement and intelligence analyst, what he said. My family, he confirms what happened to Harry and Meghan. He confirms Harry and Meghan are telling the truth. The truth, my family, that UK media are trying to say it's a lie. It did not happen. My family, don't forget, this man, John Miller, has access to the NYPD, to their information. In New York, there are so many cameras, so many cameras, my family. And so my family, he knows exactly what he is talking about because he must have been briefed even I've seen exactly what happened to Harry, Meghan and Doria Ragland and yes Harry, Meghan and Doria were pursued by a ring of highly aggressive paparazzi my family please kindly hear this the truth and nothing but the truth my family. Into a sea of other, and they're in a black, and they're in a blacked out SUV you can't really see in there anyway. The object of the game seemed to be to conduct a surveillance that took them back to where they were going so that the paparazzi stay. could stay, uh, stake that out, you know, camp out there, and then be able to follow their every move. So they were trying to thwart that. And, yeah. and, and I mean, that goes literally, they go all the way uptown, 
can't shake them. They're trying to slow down. Now, they're not running red lights. They're not speeding. But these people are swarming around, blocking the front of the car, driving through red lights into oncoming traffic. At one point, when two of the SUVs in the motorcade didn't move while the car with the Duke and Duchess went, one of those paparazzi cars mounted the sidewalk, hit something, skirted the corner, came off the sidewalk, pedestrian scattering. Um, How long did this go on for? So this goes on for an hour and a half plus until they finally say we've been uptown, we've been downtown to 23rd Street, uptown to 96th Street, FDR Drive, 3rd Avenue, side streets, and we can't lose this pack. So Tommy Buddha, who is the guy running the motorcade on the private security side, former FBI, NYPD, JTTF detective, very competent guy, says, let's go somewhere safe, take a breather and make a plan. So they go to the 19th police precinct. That's where they shift to the taxi, but the spotters for the paparazzis end up following them. And then they go to plan C, which actually works. And they shift it to the taxi, John, to as a decoy to throw off the paparazzi? The idea would be the paparazzi were focused on the motorcade that was in place. And if they could slip them into a taxi that would then disappear at midnight into a sea of other taxis in Manhattan traffic, it might actually be the getaway because the place they were going actually wasn't far away. It was okay. a couple of blocks. Okay, that was the, that was sort of what the mayor was alluding to. How could it be a high-speed chase in New York City? We wish that we could do a high-speed chase, but at times it was, right, John? So this was a never, never a high-speed chase because the motorcade had an NYPD element in it from the Intelligence Bureau. And the instructions were, we're not lights and sirens, we're not running lights, we're following traffic regulations, we're there as a protection detail. Now, the paparazzi, that was a different set of rules because they went high speed to catch up. There was a time. My family. So my family, as you've heard, from someone who has clearly watched footage of exactly what happened to Harry and Meghan. My family. So my family, in this channel, we show you the truth. And nothing but the truth. What happened to Harry and Meghan was a traumatic ordeal, and it is the truth. Harry and Meghan are speaking the truth, my family. Even Backrid, the Parazi agency that, you know, pays this freelance journalist, my family. My family, they're refusing to give footage of the car chase. My family. Why is that? If you are innocent, sure you are innocent. But my family, clearly, they are not. Harry and Meghan experienced a traumatic ordeal. Indeed, they were chased. The Parazi were trying to catch up to Harry and Meghan and Doria. They wanted to know where they were staying. My family, in Harry's memoir, actually my family, in the Harry and Meghan documentary, Prince Harry told us the culprit, the tabloid that constantly leaks locations of where Harry and Meghan have been staying. For example, when Prince Harry and Meghan were in Canada, Daily Mail leaked the location of where Harry and Meghan were staying in Canada. My family. When Harry and Meghan fled to the US and were staying at Tyler Perry's place, Daily Fail leaked that Harry and Meghan were staying at Tyler Perry's place. When Harry and Meghan put down a mortgage for their home in Montecito. Who leaked where Harry and Meghan was staying? Daily Mail. They are always the first to find out which location Prince Harry and Meghan are staying. And my family clearly, because Harry and Meghan did not pay for a hotel, in New York City. Clearly, they were staying at a private residence. My family. And these parazi clearly were offered more money to find out 
exactly where Harry and Meghan were staying. Because if they can find that out, the My Family Daily Mail and the paparazzi can find out exactly who owns the place where Harry and Meghan were staying. They can find out, my family, the friends who gave, you know, Harry and Meghan, you know, the place where they're staying, my family. If they were staying at a friend's place, then Daily Mail would find out and tell the entire world. That's normally what Daily Mail normally does time and time again. It does everything in its power to constantly put Harry and Meghan in danger by constantly briefing the world, telling the world exactly where Harry and Meghan are, where they are, time and time again. Also, it's worth noting, Daily Mail and Daily Express, both UK tablets, had acquired the highly intrusive photos of Harry and Meghan inside a taxi after they were chased my family so clearly it tells you who's behind everything that happened to Harry and Meghan it even explains to you exactly why UK media are trying to paint Harry and Meghan as liars hey look it never happened and yet we have full confirmation that indeed what happened to Harry and Meghan was very much real and very much true my family and my family, as I've said, it's important that Harry and Meghan told the entire world exactly what happened to them. Because the next time, my family, after the heat that has come out from what happened to Harry and Meghan, my family, this parazi will think twice before pursuing Harry and Meghan in an aggressive manner. They'll think twice. My family also kindly hear this, that which has also been said, my family. Please kindly look at this, please, my family. Yeah, that's really good. But they would have been. Yeah, that's really good. But they would have been covered as representatives of the crown, as members of the royal family, as a diplomatic trip. Um, basically, they're private citizens now um, and not on a government mission here, but... You know, the first rule of risk management, um, as we were taught long ago, is predictable is preventable. When you have two people that you know are going to draw this kind of attention and this potentially this kind of mayhem, um, you put a police element in there just in the name of public safety. And that's why the NYPD was along with the private security. The, the complicating factor is, as, as it was just said here by Richard, that that's to protect them from threats that you would have against royals and, and people like that, uh, terrorists, stalkers, uh, yeah. you know, assassins, the normal threats. When you're surrounded by, you know, um, this swarm of press um, that are literally slowing you down, blocking you at intersections, then trying to catch up to you, if there is a real threat, getting off the X is that much harder. Yeah. Um, Aaron, it's interesting to hear Sonny say that he's he's um, transported celebrities before. My family, him. allow me to just pause there, Kylie. As you've heard, they were blocking Harry and Meghan at intersection, blocking them. My family. Clearly, this person, John Miller, has seen exactly what happened because there are so much cameras in New York City. So clearly, he has seen exactly what happened. To Harry and Meghan. And he's telling the entire world. Yes. 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 It's true. It's true. What happened to Harry and Meghan. And UK media are trying to lie. Because they want to keep up their grift. This. Making of so much money. From going after Harry and Meghan. From their hate campaign. Against Prince Harry and Meghan. With their main target. Being Meghan. The Duchess of Sussex. So my family, this, what happened to Harry and Meghan should never have happened. But my family already, we do know who is behind what happened to Harry and Meghan. The 
UK tabloids. They are the ones who offer up so much money for a photo of Harry and Meghan. So much money. You know, my family, Prince Harry and Meghan, even they have said it. They don't go out much. My family. So my family, just because of that, you are having, you know, a tabloid that is so interested on any stories about Prince Harry and Meghan. They'll do anything to get stories about Harry and Meghan. Anything, my family. They'll offer any amount just to get more photos of Harry and Meghan. Just to find out exactly where Harry and Meghan were staying in New York City. My family, because if Harry and Meghan were staying at a hotel, then make no mistake, the Daily Mail and the other tablets in the UK would have found out. They are the ones who have this appetite for any stories pertaining to Harry and Meghan. My family. And it's like a requirement for a carnival of so-called expert writing for Daily Faith, my family, to find anything to write about Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, especially Meghan. My family. And my family, also, I want to hear something from someone working at Vanity Fair. My family, who did research on Daily Mail articles about Megan and what they said on CNN. It's high time the world sees how sickly obsessed Daily Mail is on Megan. My family, they are so obsessed with her. You know, they call Harry and Megan irrelevant. In my family, they'll do anything, anything, anything to write a story, a negative story about Megan. Anything. My family. And one thing they fear so much is what they're seeing right now. Backlash from the entire world. Backlash from the entire world. After Harry and Megan told the entire world, they were chased by a ring of highly aggressive paparazzi. My family, if you just do some research, you'll find out exactly who pays some top dollar for photos of Harry and Meghan. And you'll find it comes from UK Media. They're the ones who pay so much money for photos of Harry and Meghan. Daily Mail in particular is the one that constantly puts Harry and Meghan in danger by constantly telling the entire world, hey, look, this is the guy who's protecting Harry and Meghan. And here is his name. Here is what he's done. That's his name, Daily Mail. No one has actively put Harry and Meghan in danger more than the Daily Mail. More than Daily Mail owned by Jonathan Rothmere. No one. My family, please also kindly hear this. Please, my family, it's high time that people continue speaking like this. Tell the entire world exactly the source of this harassment of Harry Meghan, where it comes from, who's behind it. My family, Please kindly hear this. What happened on CNN? Uh, much harder. Yeah. Um, Aaron, it's interesting to hear Sonny say that he's he's um, transported celebrities before. He's never seen anything like this. It's, it's just, I think it's really hard for us in the U.S. to understand the scale of the interest that still exists in the U.K. for them. Once we, uh, in the month of February, Megan made no public appearances and we kind of as a you know, a, a journalistic exercise decided to count the number of stories that the Daily Mail ran on her. No, never spotted in public at any point in time, more than 100 stories. And some of them were just like, you know, they're just things that happened, like something from her blog from 2014 that was repeated four times. And it's just at a certain point, you know, they, they, 
they understand now that they can't really get rid of that interest, but I think that they're trying to do their hardest to, you know, I think that they've been using shame tactics, they've been using legal tactics to try to discourage some of this. And so I think that that's why this became public in the first place is because people started running those photos and they were thinking, okay, we don't want them to be running these photos. We don't want the people who are making our lives miserable last night to make the money off of it. And after sharing the story, the Daily Mail and the Express took those photos down. See, we're sure when they- I'm happy, I'm happy of what has been said. I'm happy about what was said. My family, there is a huge interest in stories pertaining to Harry Meghan in the UK. And the media, the tabloids, want to feed that interest. My family. In my family, I once viewed, you know, you know, the number of views Daily Mail gets from Harry and Meghan. It's a lot. It's it's a lot. A lot. A lot. You know, my family, allow me just to make, you know, just some speculation of just what they can make maybe from just a single article about Harry and Meghan. Let's say $15,000, roughly, my family. And my family, you've heard, when Megan was not seen, my family, for even more like a month, my family, Daily Mail ran up to 100 articles about Megan. My family, Vanity Fair did some research. And they found out even when Megan was not visible, Daily Mail had to write about Megan. My family, let's say $15,000 per article. Multiply by 100. You make, let's say, $1.5 million when Megan is not visible. Once again, that's just speculation. The number could be even higher than that. My family. And no wonder they are willing to pay any amount possible just for a photo of her and Megan, my family. They are willing to pay any amount. And my family, you are being told exactly where the interest comes from. Because without the interest, then the parazi, they won't act all aggressive trying to get a photo of Harry and Meghan. They won't. The interest is in the UK. It comes from the UK. No American media outlet published those highly intrusive photos. Only UK tablets. And by Harry and Meghan releasing a statement telling the world of what happened to them, the traumatic ordeal, them being chased, my family, Daily Mail and Daily Express had to take down that article. That's what they did, my family. They took down that article. My family. And my family, as you've heard, Prince Harry and Meghan don't want the same media outlets that are making, you know, that are going after them, my family, that are going after them to destroy them, to make their lives miserable, because that's what they want, my family, to make Harry and Meghan's life miserable. They don't want those tablets to profit off of their pain, off of their trauma. And you know what? I just recall something. What Harry said in the Harry and Meghan documentary. He said of the work of the Royal Rota, my family, that the trauma of members of the royal family is theirs to exploit, theirs to take advantage of. My family, no wonder they have been dehumanizing Megan so much, my family, to profit off of her pain, to profit off of ruining Megan's relationships with people Megan loved cared for my family 
And my family, clearly, we know exactly where this interest comes from my family. It comes from the UK. And Daily Express, Daily Mail are feeding that interest, my family, to make money, to make millions of dollars off of Harry and Meghan. My family, at the same time, saying that, Meghan, you should not open your blog, The Tig. Meghan, you should not relaunch your blog, The Tig. They don't want Meghan to make money. However, they want to make money off of Meghan. My family, that's a sickness. A sickness and it's totally unacceptable, my family. And just not all right, my family. So, however, I'm so happy, really, that what happened to Harry Meghan is being confirmed by multiple people, multiple sources. Also, you are being told where this comes from. It comes from the UK media, my family. And no wonder they're so defensive of themselves, my family. Trying to put it that, hey, look, the car chase did not happen. My family, even though they know it did. And the Parazi were highly aggressive because tabloids like Daily Mail, my family, had offered so much money so much money to Prazi for photos of Harry and Meghan. Especially if they found out where Harry and Meghan were staying. My family, if they did that, then they'd offer them even way more money, my family. Prince Harry and Meghan were right. What happened to them was very, very much real, my family. Now, allow me to read some comments from members of the squad in response to the clips that I just showed you, my family. Now, someone says that, pay attention to the line of questioning from the anchor, whatever her name is, and how she's trying to create those clickbait moments when she introduces the idea of High speed chase. John clarifies that if anyone was going at high speed, it was those playing catch up. Exactly. My family, exactly. Exactly, 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 my family. My family, someone said that very detailed explanation. So it was a chase. A high-speed chase by paparazzi to catch up to Harry and Meghan. So Harry and Meghan, they were right in their choice of words used. My family. Indeed, Harry and Meghan are always right, my family. My family, if anyone asks me, who do I believe? Who do I believe in what happened to Harry and Meghan? I'll always say, I believe Harry and Meghan. I believe Harry and Meghan. I believe Harry and Meghan. And I'll shout it to the rooftops. I'll shout it to the rooftops of just how much I believe in Prince Harry and Meghan. I believe Harry and Meghan. I believe Harry and Meghan. They are telling the truth. The tabloids were so desperate in profiting of, of Harry and Meghan's trauma. They're the ones who are always lying. They're the ones who are behind the hounding of Prince Harry in New York City. Prince Harry has a legal case against UK tablets. The top most read tablets in the UK, like Daily Mail. My family, Harry has a case against the Sun tablet. Harry has a case against Daily Mirror that's currently on trial where Prince Harry, my family, will be testifying in open court. So my family, of course, I believe Harry and Meghan. Of course, I believe Harry and Meghan, my family, because of even what we have seen. The people who posted those photos, the tabloids who posted photos 
from the courtes of Harry Meghan, of Harry and Meghan in a taxi, are UK tablets. Not a single American media outlet posted photos acquired from the highly, you know, traumatic ordeal that Harry and Meghan and Doria experienced my family. So my family, I believe in Harry and Meghan. I believe them 100% my family. Even TMZ confirmed what happened to Harry and Meghan. My family. Even TMZ. My family. My family. Tell me what you think about what you just had. One thing is clear. I believe in Harry and Meghan. And Harry and Meghan are telling the truth my family. Now my family. Tell me your thoughts about what John Miller said my family. And also on the 100 articles written by Daily Mail about Megan, even when she's not visible. Also, I'd like to hear your opinion on that as well, my family. My family, Harry and Megan were telling the truth, my family. And my family, the tablets are the ones who are constantly lying, my family. My family, with that and so much more, stay tuned on this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and support our Fakrim family on YouTube. God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, Lipid, and Andorra Raglan, and all of you members of the squad at home. Where are those people who cried for Diana after she passed away? Diana's son was just chased clearly on UK media's demands of wanting photos of Harry and Megan. Where are you? Oh wait, you're being lied to by the tablets, by the media. The car chase happened. And once again, Harry and Meghan did not deserve to experience what they experienced, what they went through. They did not. My family, stay tuned to our next video. Love you all and forever, my family. And my family, may God protect Harry, Megan, and Doria Ragland, my family. May God bless protect Harry, Megan, and Doria Ragland. What happened to Diana will not happen to Harry and Megan. We won't let that happen. Not this time. Stay tuned to honest video. Love you always and forever. Hello, members of Zisco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted. That you support this channel i want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices supporting prince harry and megan showing them love love will always triumph over evil and for that i say thank you good will always prevail over bad thank you so much for all your support thank you so much for joining this community this amazing community of zesco family tv i love you so much family from the bottom of my heart and i wish you all the best May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.